It's a sign of how Denver's development can cause little everyday inconveniences. You know, no parking signs that seem to pop up without warning all around town due to construction. Turns out that sign can actually work in your favor and it buys you some time to get your vehicle out of there if you know how the system is enforced. And Anusha Roy can explain. Yeah, Kyle, I don't think I've ever studied a no parking sign so closely in my entire life, but we started noticing that the signs have gone up in front of cars that were already parked on the street. On the rare occasion, they were just kind of showing up overnight, and it really looked like a whole bunch of people were about to get in some pretty expensive trouble, except when this sign first goes up, it's actually a warning. The city is requiring contractors to give you a 24 hours heads up to clear out, and those signs is how they're doing yet. Now, after that time period, you're either going to get a ticket, which is what you might expect. But if it's a city project, you might get the delightful surprise of walking out to your car to realize it is missing because the city can have it towed to a nearby block to get it out of the way of the work that is being done. So in order to find your car when it goes missing like that, you have to call the Denver police non emergency number. They're going to tell you what that location is, yeah. and then you get slapped with like a hundred dollar towing fee, and then you're on your merry way. So, so the key is to know when the sign showed up. That, exactly. Then, then you know when your grace period begins. Exactly. That's the 24 hour. And interesting enough, uh, the city gets paid every time the, the contractor is setting aside parking like this and yep. putting up those no parking signs, kind of along the same lines as getting money every time a contractor is shutting down a lane of traffic as well, which can add up to a Lot. Yeah, we've we've covered that before. Yeah. You're driving down a street and all of a sudden like, the road gets cut in half and some contractor just decided that they need exactly. it to work safely. Yeah, city cash is in on that. All right, thank you, Anusha.